Hey folks, we're talking classic, we're talking comfort food, oven roasted ranch potatoes. You better stick around because I'm going to show you how to saddle this bad boy up and ride him all the way to the table. Get a lot of requests on YouTube, I do, but one we've been getting for quite some time and it won't be long till it's fresh tater digging time. Jimmy Dickens wrote a song about that, I think. Roasted potatoes, oven roasted. What kind of oven? Dutch oven roasted potatoes. There is all kinds of taters you can roast out there. Red taters, white taters, russet taters, little blue taters. But folks, I like to use two different kinds. Today, I am using a red and what I would call some of these little baby russets. I ain't even got to chop them or nothing. That's why I like them. But the most important factor you got to remember in this deal is when you begin to cut these potatoes, I like to cut straight in half. We got to try to get it pretty close to similar to that size. That way, when it begins to cook, everything is about the same cooking time. Just remember, whatever potato you're using, they're all cut to the same size. Today, we used about four, I'd say, medium to little large red potatoes, and then about three cups of these little tiny baby russets. The next step we're going to do, Popeye's girlfriend, what's, it, what's her name? Olive oil, that is it. And be generous, folks. Be generous. I like to use quite a bit. So we want to make sure that everybody's got some of that greasy love on them. I took a yellow bell pepper, a red bell pepper, and a medium-sized Vidalia onion and sliced them. Not really chopped, just really sliced. Two tablespoons of butter, sauteed them in the butter and the skillet till they begin to just get tender a little. Let's bring them over here and let them join these other participants. Let's get them in here, the garlic, the bell pepper, the onion. It's time to season. Now, a thing that Shan and me like to do, and she really likes to cook these on ranches, don't let her fool you running that camera, folks. She is a great cook also. But what does she like to put on them? She introduced me to it. Yes, you heard it right, right here. Ranch dressing, them little packets, you know. Go to mixing a little. I don't like to pour them all in there at once, folks, because they go to gumming up on one participant in this playing deal anyway. So give them another good mixing as we go around. Well, folks, we're talking oven roasted potatoes, do you? See one of them gas ranges here anywhere, Shan? We got one out here? Ha! What we got? We got the best roasting apparatus in the world. Today, we are putting them in a 12-inch shallow. I like to go ahead and give them another little coating of olive oil here on the bottom and just rub it around in there. This is pretty hot, so I ain't gonna rub it long. The goodness. Now, I like to make sure that you get everybody raked out of there really good. Give it one more pretty good little stirring. And I like to sort of even it out a little. What comes next? Coarse salt and coarse pepper. So let's get them over here. We're going to put them on a short trivet today. Pretty good coals around the bottom and the top. Got them on a trivet. Now, I'm using a short trivet today. You wouldn't have to use one. We can start out pretty hot. We got hot coals top and bottom both pretty close to the oven. Potatoes are something that are pretty easy to cook in a Dutch oven because we can actually see them, but we are going to have to stir them. When we can stir a recipe and the wind ain't blowing so much either, it's one reason you don't have to rotate. Now, if the breeze was to get up, sure, I would go ahead because we would have a hotter side on one side or the other. Now, I will give you a tip if you're in the house and you've got these in a, one of them big, long, flat pans. Scatter them out where they're all pretty even, one layer. I'm not doing that here. That way, when you turn them, you just got to turn them one time. Uh, Shan, I don't know if you know this or not, but part of the crew has given it up. I, th I think they're through. As we checked them potatoes, they was getting along pretty good. Could you see that bubbling, sizzling, frying action going on in there? Had to stir them, we did. Also, folks, in stirring them, if you see as one of them is beginning to stick a little, add you a little more olive oil to it. Stir it back around. We'll check them again and again. Give it another stir. Well, folks, we've been on about eight or 10 minutes. We had give them a little stirring. It's beginning to dry out just a tad over on one side. I added just a little olive oil to it. Stirred them up really well again. Seasoned again at the time, salt and pepper. Took them off the bottom heat for a little bit because they are really going. Let them slow down. Top heat's still good and hot, so we're ready to go. Oops. 
I'd slowed it down there a little because there is some intense heat going on on that bottom. Check the heat there, we're still good and hot. Gonna let it get back to going, check them for tenderness, we're getting close. good crusting action going on there so we're going to pull it off the bottom take it over here and let it set let this top heat brown them taters just a little more on top and we'll be good it looked nice and pretty got a little crispy going on there you see that crispy yes that's what i'm after and it's t tender and hot to the touch let me just tell you that's what we're after that's why I like to take that and mash that back down a little, try to break that skin just a little on the potatoes to get it all seating on the bottom. Guess what? We're going to put some shredded Parmesan on them. How much? I don't think you can have too much, folks. I don't. I like that flavor. I like the way it is. Now, if you got one of them sticks of cheese and one of them deals, you can do it that way too. But see if some of them little rascals is cooled up enough we can actually eat one of them. See that dirt crusty? Mm. The Parmesan is the finishing touch, but you get the onion, the garlic, but that ranch packet with them little herbies that's all in there. My God, this is one of the best dishes and it's oh so easy. You can do it in the house, you can do it outside. Remember what I told you, if you're doing it inside, try to put them on a flat enough tray that you're not on layer on anybody on top of one another. You'll get done a whole lot faster and you'll even get crispier. But if you're doing them in a Dutch oven, remember right at the last when you know everything's tender, try to mash it down to where everybody's the same level. Change your heat out, get it really hot on top. Try to give it that crust. Bring it over here, let it finish just a minute. Parmigiani. Remember, the recipe channel, have it right down there below. We thank you for stopping by camp on such a glorious day. Remember, hit that subscribe button over there. Tell your friends so we can get everybody to join in the love. God bless you. See you down the trail. As there is <coughs> swallowed something. Yeah. Some kind of bug. <coughs> <coughs> Whoo, he tastes bad. <coughs>